Hello, it's No Bake Baking Week. You know what's cooler than baking delicious treats? What's that? Making delicious treats without baking. <laughs> That's right, because ovens are hot. Welcome to the No Bake Bake Off. This week, the bakers have to take on the challenge of checks. Make cookies with no oven. And forge a fantastic fudge technical challenge. I like to take my time when I make a fudge. This is going to get sound like a food thing. You get it? Hello, bakers. This week, the judges want you to put your spin on checks. Salty or sweet, it's up to you. You have one hour. On your mark. Get set. Don't bake. This week, we're asking the bakers to make checks. Now, we've left the decision of whether it's salty or sweet up to them. We don't know what we're going to get, but I can tell you I expect it to be exquisite. Growing up, my family, uh, they didn't like the wheat, so they'd always leave that to the side of the bag, and so I'd eat the wheat. And uh, so, I don't know if it's good, but uh, I fancy it. This week I'll be looking for a good solid crunch. This year's bakers are top notch, so we're expecting great things in this Chex challenge. So, uh, so Josh, how, how is it everything going? I'm going to say going all right. I'm a, I'm a bit uh, optimistic about my chances. Uh, it's a Chex mix, so you got your cereals and uh, your nuts, and um, that's about it. So proper, proper chopped. So I like Worcestershire sauce, Liam Perrins, top shelf, good stuff. Using a. Uh, Medicine cup, because taller, don't like a handle, like to grab it. <laughs> kind of like how I do with my booze. I'm just gonna probably good, right? And, uh, onion powder. Just gonna go ahead. Sometimes I saw this on on the telly once. Kapow! Right? Seems like it worked. Garlic salt. Same thing. It's not open. Let me go get another. Lots of, lots of garlic salt in the tent. Common ingredient. So that's lovely brown. Smells fantastic. Does it smell Worcester East Diary enough? Mm-hmm. Think we might need a bit more. Oh, more. This may not taste that good. <laughs> Josh's Chex is a family recipe made with wheat, corn, and rice Chex along with some nuts. And he says the Worcestershire sauce adds that extra va va voom. I learned this method in Leeds on, on, on holiday. Um, it's called the bowl shake.
Made with chocolate, peanut butter, and rice checks topped with a fine coating of powdered sugar, Bethany hopes her puppy chow will have the judges wagging their tails. Woof. How are you feeling about your checks, Mick? Or your, your checksing? Not great. I just poured baking soda into the bag. I grabbed the wrong container from the pantry. And I need powdered sugar. It's not that's not the same thing. And I'm feeling really crunched on time. Oh my gosh, what if that tastes like baking soda? Three minutes left! Oh no! The checks will now face the scrutiny of Paul and Prue, and Bethany's up first. Hmm. Hmm. Yum. Mm, that's very good. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try another one of these real quick. Oh, I need to put my glasses on. See it better. It's quite a messy thing, isn't it? Oh, it's so delicious, though. That ticked all the boxes for me. The peanut butter came through, the chocolate. Fantastic. All right, guys, I got a bit of a Chex Mix here. It's really good. I'm not quite getting the onion. It's got a great crunch. Yes, very nice snap. I was a bit worried about the amount of Worcestershire sauce, but I think you pulled it off. Oh! I need a hat. Good. Can she get a hat? That's that's a snowman. Mm. I'm just gonna take this. I feel great about that. I, I I couldn't have had a better signature. Um, they loved my puppy chow. Like, I got a handshake from Paul Hollywood. Like, I can't, I can't even believe it. I am so happy and thrilled. Just thrilled. I feel pretty good. Rather chuffed about my checks. I'm checks chuffed. Um, so I feel like it was proper. Uh, Bang up job, brilliant, well done, uh, doing good. For the next challenge, the bakers face a mystery wrapped in enigmatic gingham. Hello bakers, it's time for the technical challenge, and this week's has been set for you by Prue. Prue, any words of wisdom? You are both excellent bakers. So we haven't given you many instructions. Just do it. Thanks, Prue. As always, this challenge will be judged blind, so off you pop. Prue would like each of you to make fudge. Your fudge should be rich, chocolatey, and have the perfect form. You have three hours. On your marks. Get set. Break! All right, so it looks like, oh yeah, well, that's, that's really good instructions. It says, make fudge, yeah. so. Thanks, Paul. Thanks a lot, Paul. Oh, hey, Noel. Hey, I like fudge. I love fudge. I'm glad I'm excited to eat some fudge. How many poop jokes do you think dad will make about fudge? At least two. Ha ha ha, poop. <laughs> Back to business. So do you think these two have ever made fudge before? I've never seen a fudge in the pantry, so I'm thinking it's unlikely. 
It's gonna definitely be a challenge. Buzz Lightyear. Okay, so I'm just gonna measure this chocolate, I guess. I I assume I'll use the whole bag. I don't know, I've literally never made fudge. Right, medium heat, I'm thinking. The logical part of me says I got uh, these three things. I'm just gonna put them all in a pan and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook it and then I'm just gonna toss it in the fridge and I think that'll do. Here, would you like to buy the spoon? Oh, lovely. Brilliant. It's flat. Do you think you can burn this? Oh, I, I don't really know. You know, I'm not super um, known on the fudge. So you've never made fudge either? I've never even heard of this fudge. Why has Prue done this to us? She's evil. Like, do people even eat fudge in 2020? I've, I've never, I've had a Snickers bar. That's not even fudge, that's chocolate. What's nougat? I don't know. Is this nougat? Maybe. <sighs> oh, I'm having a nervous breakdown. You know what this is that also starts with an F? What? Frustrating. Very frustrating. You nailed it. I'm a little concerned that Bethany's done already. That took all of 15 minutes. I guess I'll just put it in the fridge for the rest of the time. I'm about five minutes behind Bethany, but I think I'm just gonna do a Sudoku. Bethany, fancy a cuppa. Bakers, time is up. Grab your fudge and put it behind your photograph on the gingham altar. Oh yeah. I am very excited about this fudge. I love fudge. All right, so this first person it's proved- nice and, It's nice and formed. Oh, it does look nice. It's set well. Yeah, not too thick. Hmm, all right, let's try this. Hum. I can try that good, bro. Are you gonna finish that? I'm just gonna take that. Oh, but it's all gone. It was oh. so good! Yum! Yay, Baker! Alright, now let's try this other one. It's gooey. Ah, ha, ha. Yes, hello, I like it. This one is definitely fudgy. It's delicious. You. You guys. Mmm. Mm. Thumbs up! Thumbs up. Well, that was a great technical. I've never made fudge before, but I pulled it off. I mean, the instructions were minimal, but we made fudge and it was good and they loved it. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the fudge. Um, never heard of fudge before. The instructions weren't um, thorough. But, uh, you know, I think I, I pulled something together. Hello again, bakers. It's time for the Showstopper Challenge. And this week, the judges want you to make no-bake cookies. That's right, cookies, but with no baking. The ingredients, the flavors, it's all up to you. Bakers, you have 42 minutes and 13 seconds. On your mark, Get set. Bake. So Josh, what, what kind of no-bake cookie are you making? Well, when I was a wee barn, me and my mom would make dinosaur cookies. And so, like, we'd use uh, the dirt, swamp water, crushed bones, and grass, and bugs. And we, we were just having a bit of a laugh. It was really cocoa, milk, oatmeal. You know, it's it's not it's it's really food. That's good. I was worried. I was a little a little worried about having crushed bones. There's still bugs in there, but that's just because it's protein. Oh, da! 
For this week's showstopper, Josh is bringing back another family recipe, complete with cocoa, peanut butter, oats, and sugar. It is sure to tickle the judge's sweet tooth. Sometimes, when the contestants walk away, I like to stir their pot. Oh! He's coming back. Ah, there he is! <laughs> <laughs> These are the crushed bones. Josh, what wh are you doing there? Oh, I'm dropping some cookies. Mm, I might have stuck my finger in one. Well, that's all right. We won't tell Paul. I might do it again. Oh, that's all right. We won't tell Prue. Yummy. Thank I'm you. I'm gonna do it again. All right, now it's becoming a thing, mate. It's so good. Oh. I'm gonna back away slowly. But I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna do it again. Did you just moonwalk away to and fro of my cookies? I did. They're so good. Well, I appreciate it. Good luck, mate. Cheers. He's not looking. Let me get one more. Ooh, this one. Oi! Bethany is looking to infuse the sublime flavors of cookie dough into her newfound mastery of fudge. In this fudge, she'll combine butter, evaporated milk, brown sugar, and milk chocolate morsels. Hello, hello, what's all this then? It's gonna be chocolate chip cookie dough fudge when I'm done. I'm really excited. Oh, I am too. Oh, what's that up there? Must be something. Oh, yeah. Looks good. I'm excited. So, how are you feeling? Not great. I, um, I think I messed up the measurements. And at home, it's been thicker when I practice. So... No, can you stop eating butter? No. Okay. No keeps eating butter. Circus of butter. No, no. No, no. No, no. So I'm just gonna let it cool and hope for the best. Um, but I am not. I mean, luckily I've done really well in the other two challenges this weekend. But um, I just this is good. It's time for the final judging. And Bethany is up first. Squirrel! I'm so sorry. I'm embarrassed to even present this to you. It, it's not good. It, it doesn't even look edible. It's a soup. It's very stodgy. Look, 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 I'm just poking holes in it. It's the definition of a soggy bottom. I'm afraid that's not even safe to eat. Yeah, shame. Shame that. It's a dinosaur cookie. You know the dinosaur stuff? It's a cookie, yeah. Cookies! Cookies! <coughs> oh, sorry, I was talking like a baby a little bit ago. Now I'm gonna try this cookie. Um, oh, that's spot on. That's the way a cookie should cookie. It's delicious. It's made perfectly. The texture is right. You're really getting that peanut butter and the chocolate. You would never even know that there was bugs in there. And you would never even know it wasn't baked. It's whimsical, it's delicious, and it's an absolute delight. It's exquisite. I am for it. Well done. I've got the great job this week of announcing the winner of the 2020 No Bake Bake Off. Congratulations. Josh! Josh, you were the winner. Congratulations, mate. 
I could not have lost to a better baker, but I'm really disappointed with the way my showstopper came out. I just measured wrong and it all downhill from there. So. Hello, family. I w guess what? I won Star Baker. I know, right? It's so good. Yay! All right. Hi, friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. And if you did, be sure to get this, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and be sure to check out the playlist below in my description box for a ton more homey holiday content. There's a whole group of us today that have put out content similar to this all about homemaking for the holidays. So be sure to go check that out and I will see you in the next one. Here's a few bloopers. You gonna sleep up? Oh. You draw on your foot? No, we'll draw on his foot. Hello? Mom, Dad. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what am I going to say? I got Star Baker. Okay. Hey, Noel. Is that good? Growing up, I'm a Star Baker. I'm a Star Baker. I'm a Star Baker. Oh, the neighbors are outside. <laughs> All right. That's what he wants. He said, mine, mine, mine. <laughs> oh, oh, bye, bro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ow.